Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about products and some techniques that I actually changed my mind about. Of course, trends are different. My tastes are always changing. Makeup preferences is of course different from person to person, but as well, formulas are different, brands are different, trends are different. So let's start with number one and that is matte lips. So liquid lipsticks all the way. I know a girl that would never touch a gloss. Maybe a lip balm or something, but a gloss? No way. Glosses were sticky, I didn't like them, but the formulas of glosses as well. We are going to talk about that in a bit. They were different, but matte lips. I hate them right now. <laughs> this product is new. I have the AVH Lip Velvet in here. I understand. I would, I would have loved with a passion. This, five years ago, this would have been my favorite product in the entire world because the formula is nice, but it is way too drying right now. I just don't like it. It is way too matte, in my opinion. And I remember as well having the Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks. Those were again great formula, but right now I would hate them because they are fully drying liquid lipsticks that is not for me right now what it is for me right now is something in between a bullet lipstick that is matte but still comfortable uh, something like this or the tart one something with a bit of pigment but still glossy and my favorite bullet bullet lipstick is this one it is the mac one in the shade posh pit it is the most beautiful brown and it is glossy but a bit sheer it is a dream in a bullet form and i absolutely love it number two it is full coverage foundation i know somebody that would use a pretty good amount of the maybelline fit me and that one is a medium buildable coverage i would say and uh, i would use a good amount and my face was pretty not paint level but still uh, enough coverage i would say these days i like medium to be my top highest amount right now i have a lot of days where i'm just using concealer i'm in a rush usually in the morning when i'm going to work so i skip foundation or i use something very light but something that i really enjoy it is the bear with me concealer serum from uh, nyx just a, as a foundation i've been traveling with this one a lot um, it's just great you can use it as a concealer and then blend it out just a bit on your face if you have some redness and uh, it's glowy and nice. It looks amazing and it wears incredible. On number three, I have something very interesting. Right now, I am not that in love with cream products. Again, me saying that I have right now both cream uh, bronzer and cream blush, but it's just because this video, I wanted to incorporate more products if possible, because I'm doing uh, because I did a full face of Sephora makeup. But uh, yeah, cream cream blush, it is the thing that I want to mention. And I have some exact products to mention and are these from Fenty. Don't get me wrong. Great blushes. I have in here two shades actually, which is very unusual for me. I have Fuego Flush, which is the brightest of the brightest oranges. And then I have Rosé Latte. And this one looks like this both great shades amazing formula in the past i went through one of these so the formula is nice but right now i just i prefer powder powder blush and powder bronzer but mostly blush blush is the thing that i'm just i'm a bit lazy so yeah sometimes i'm even skipping bronzer and highlighter and i'm applying a glowy glowy um, blush and call it a day something like this one this one i'm wearing actually on my face it is the iconic london one this one it is a good shade as well to do that it is the shade kissed by the sun no uh, the shade is so cheeky this shade is just so nice because it is of course a blush so that is that but as you can see the shade is pretty neutral so you can put it on your cheeks and use it as a three in one i had multiple days where i put just concealer powder this on the cheeks and just do brows and uh, lips and 
be done and that looks so natural next one that i want to mention it's more of a technique than a product in particular and again i'm mentioning it while wearing it which is a bit confusing but very strong highlighters today i'm wearing the natasha vinona highlighter and i used a bit too much i would say and it is on top of the iconic london so both of them are pretty highlighty so i would say that this cheek is a bit much but lately i've been using just a small amount of highlighter and this one for example this one is very blinding i have the catrice more than a glow highlighter in here very blinding this one as well this is my favorite highlighter at the moment it is the bh cosmetics um sun flex powder highlighter both of them affordable and really nice but very blinding if you are using a lot what what i've been doing is just taking the smallest amount tapping my brush and then put it on the cheeks and it looks so nice and i don't need a lot of highlighter and as well some days like i mentioned i'm just using a glowy um, blush and call it a day and that looks incredible but it needs to be a glowy blush otherwise i just don't like a matte cheek i like a glowy cheek next one is defined brows and in like 2019 2018 i was using a bit of pencil a good amount and then putting something like this one on top um, a brow gel with a color so even more definition these days i'm using a pencil and then maybe a clear brow gel or for example today i used a bit of my nyx pencil and then i used the combo of the abh um, brow freeze gel and the sephora sephora one and i would call them defined today so today uh, they are pretty defined but usually ah uh, again i had days where i put just brow gel and nothing else in my brows and they look great or uh, put a tnt brow gel and just that is enough the next one is the most crazy one in my opinion because if you know me you know that i absolutely love colorful shadows and i absolutely love shadows in general but right now i'm not that in love with crazy colors i don't know why maybe at some point i reached my my limit and i was like that's too much and not because i don't love colorful shadows because i still appreciate them and somebody doing crazy eyeshadows is just so satisfying and so beautiful but right now i like a mix again i think right now i am all about balance not too matte not too shimmery not too crazy colorful not too brown not too glowy not too matte not too fluffy not too defined something in the middle for everything because that is what i enjoy something that of course you can see that i'm wearing makeup but at the same time it's not a mask i think that is what i'm getting so i have a specific product to mention i think 2020 veronica would uh, kill me a bit but this is the club nebula from kaleidos first of all this quality is still 11 out of 10 right now if i'm using these shadows they are still amazing and i will i will keep using this palette because it is great but right now i don't think i would like a full look with only this palette this quality is incredible but they are too crazy colorful for me right now as you can see today i am wearing a bit of color somebody would call this a bit colorful actually but it is so diluted in a way because i have just the inner corner with a bit of pop and the rest is brown and nothing else so this is what i like and i have an example of a palette that i think it defines my my taste right now and it is the nouveau from abh because this palette this is me right now when it comes to eyeshadows something neutral 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 and then one pop <laughs> that is me because as you can see it has some colors in here i don't like 
everything brown or everything beige that is not for me i think i will always love a bit of a color in my looks just because i like something a bit colorful but something like this a mint or a green i love green still my favorite something a bit more toned down but still not boring in my humble opinion i'm just gonna go with the flow i have a bunch of colorful shadows in my collection which is a bit making me a bit sad because i have so many bright shadows and i'm using like two or three shadows that are not very colorful but i could still incorporate color into my looks just do something on the lower lash or create a colorful wing or something like that and i think that is very very beautiful as well last thing that i want to mention is again 2017 2016 maybe veronica that would repurchase and repurchase and repurchase lip balms but something like this i'm gonna put a picture in the stick format like i said i didn't like glosses they were too sticky so i was using something like this right now i absolutely hate with a passion this kind of product because they are just drying out my lips they are useless in my opinion so right now i am all about glosses and all about lip balms something like this this one from summer friday but mostly glosses glosses or lip oils the elf one i have here this one is great or i really enjoy plumping right now and the dark plump from uh, nyx is just so beautiful and i really enjoy it so that is what i like right now glossy lips and if i have one of these in my purse just to hydrate my lips it is still a gloss so that is everything i i think makeup is always changing and our tastes and that is totally okay and if you have a friend that loves something very different from you again that is very very normal and it's actually kind of refreshing to like something a bit different so um, if you like this video and you want to see more from me please subscribe and give it a like and i'll see you next time